Hi, I'm Vic Vlasic and I'm being inducted into the Hall of Fame. More than surprised. I mean, I, I was shocked, taken back. In fact, I had tears in my eyes, I think. I worked as a maintenance man when I was in college, my junior and senior year, for a gentleman named Fred Willing. And after I went into the military, he hired me as a property manager. And my question to him was, how can a finance degree work with property management? He said, Kim, I'll show you. I worked with him as a property manager, and he was actually involved with this association with Harry Reid and Dennerstein's, and uh, he would drag me along to various meetings, and that's, I guess, how I got started early on. And then I kind of took a sabbatical and got involved with the commercial side, and then I, Tim Myers got me back involved in 1994 as a board member, and, you know, he was in our building, Al Otto Ryan was in our building, at Ben Franklin, and uh, before you knew it, I was up going up the food chain. You know, I, I think that one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed was, I believe this was in 1999, when I was uh, president, and uh, we had the chili cook-off, but that's when Ronnie Finger, you know, he had ALS, got it the year before. In fact, he was at one of the board meetings, like two months before that. And he came down with ALS and it got to the point to where he couldn't speak. He had to speak through a trachea. And so I had a chance to push him around. And, and I got so much applauding from all the guests. And, and uh, shortly thereafter, he passed away. And that was one of my members. I, I really feel that the months that I served as president, you know, was kind of dynamic. And uh, I'll always, I'll never forget this. We used to meet at the West Chase or the Omni and uh, Hotel. And one time, Mr. Heiberger leaned over to me and he said, I'll never forget this. And he said, Vic, see yeah, Paul, you had a 42 minute meeting. He said, that's the fastest board meeting ever. <laughs> it was funny. So it kind of reminds me of being pretty favorite to me. You know, a leader has to make everyone feel very, very positive, very, very strong. And regardless of what direction they go in, I mean, they may, they may not even be in, interested in the association, but I think if you train them correctly and get them involved, uh, I, I feel that that will give them a positive approach and they will in turn, you know, follow the direction of, of the leaders that, are, that have been there before. We can't do this alone. We have to have young people and, you know, to entice them to get involved, whether or not, and it does not have to be degree people. It can be people without a degree. You know, they can have a trade degree, you know, as long as they're committed. And I think the association uh, will have to lean in that direction. And I, I feel that, that if we do that, we'll have good young people as well as the old people have to take them underneath their arm and really treat them fair. We're a pretty close family. Six grandchildren, ages of 12 through 23. My ideal weekend is, is spending time, you know, on a cruise, spending time in Mexico, uh, spending time away from Houston, uh, that's what my ideal weekend is. I would have to say that the real role model to me has been my wife, my family, uh, you know, being involved with not only the multifamily side but the commercial side. Uh, our company is somewhat of a mixed bag company. You know, we do commercial, residential, and uh, I've been involved with IRM. It's been involved with CCIM programs, uh, uh, but it's it's all of how you work with people and treat people. You know, I'd like to have a smile on my face when I see people, and most importantly, uh, I think it's a God-given thing.